Hey guys, here with another interview from RC Four Wheel Drive. Uh, this is Tom and John. John, we saw you with the whole RC Four Wheel Drive team that's here at the East Coast Scale Challenge. Tom, you are with RC Four Wheel Drive. You are the sales and marketing lead, marketing, marketing manager. Yes. Marketing manager. Uh, with that, it comes a lot of new parts, yes. all kinds of new stuff that you guys are releasing. Some stuff that I haven't even seen an email yet on. That's that's exactly right. So there's a lot of things that we. We brought to the event to kind of showcase uh, a little bit of the uh, the new products that are coming out and going to be released over the next several weeks. So that's uh, that's always fun to do, and I'm, I'm going to cherry pick this opportunity to uh, release it uh, in advance of you guys and feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff here in front of me. We, me, and you had actually been talking a little bit, so I've got a little bit of background on some of this, but. Uh, just kind of go over a bunch of the parts that we have here in front of us. Um, this massive, <laughs> this this is uh, this is something different. That's yeah. a beadlock wheel. Nothing new for you guys. However, plastic. Correct. Yeah, most people will look at it and automatically assume that it's aluminum. But whenever you hand it to them, they're immediately understand that okay, this can't be aluminum because of the weight. So this is a new uh, licensed Dixie Peck. 40 series 3.8 inch wheel that is a direct fit for the Traxxas Revo and Summit with a 17 millimeter hex. Uh, also pairing it with the Mickey Thompson uh, Baja MTZ uh, tire as well. Now, this isn't your guys' first plastic beadlock. You guys had 2.2 plastic beadlocks before. Yes. Um, for I mean, that was more popular when we were doing comp crawling, I think, uh, that, that time frame anyway. Right. Um, this isn't a normal plastic beadlock though either. This is, looks like it's a three piece. Uh, it is. Um, it's got um, an internal ring in it as well. Um, so it's it's going to bolt together just like a, a, a traditional beadlock wheel. It's going to have the internal ring so that way you're going to slide it inside the tire. And then you've got the exterior ring on the back that's going to be able to hold everything together and piece it all together. And yeah, that's common with a lot of your guys is the, the steelies and well, you know, granted that's a two piece wheel right. half and everything, but right. uh, that internal B lock ring is definitely nothing new to you guys. No, no, um, no. We, we actually uh, enjoy doing that and it just uh, adds that extra scaleism to the, to the front exterior piece of the wheel um, so that way it, it looks you know, more realistic. Uh, yeah, and like you said, the details on the face definitely uh, leads you to immediately assume that it's another one of your guys' aluminum wheels. Right. So, uh, a great looking, great looking little combo there. And, yes, uh, yes it is. Something I wanted to touch on quickly before we got into what people who are at this event <laughs> would be more interested in. Uh, we've got a, a bunch of different things here with uh, some things that are completely different than what I've seen from you guys before. But, um, yeah. You know, that's, uh, I guess we can start with, with these these three sets of wheels that we have here that are uh, similar but different. Right, these are a, a new modular wheel design that we're trying out where you'll actually purchase the wheel itself, it'll come with the hex. The hex has the ability to be able to do the optional offsets that we offer. The rings will be sold separately as well as the hardware to hold the rings on. The rings will be offered in blue, black, red, and silver. So that way you can kind of customize um, the fit and finish that you that you want for the particular build that you have. So the wheels themselves, uh, you'll see that that's a black wheel that's got the uh, uh, the silver lining where we, we've anodized it, put it back in a CNC machine and cut some back off of it. We'll actually offer that in silver as well as the black with the silver. Um, so both the wheel options will be offered in that in that finish. Uh, so we've got two different face options. Is correct. And that's I assume. So if this thing takes off, it'll probably just be just the, the first of many. Yes, that's exactly right. What we're trying to do is just uh, kind of feel the marketplace out. That's, you know, RC Fuller Drive, that's one of the things we do. We try to, um, you know, bring as many products to the table as we possibly can. And, you know, some of them do really well, some of them don't. So we want to make sure that we, we give it everything that we can to try. And uh, this is just one option. They're, uh, they're a good-looking wheel. And, uh, Weight-wise, they they're, seem like they're pretty in line with a standard 1.9 bead lock. Yes. Um, yes. So that's a... And pricing is going to be good. So whenever you get everything pieced together, it's going to be about $110 for a set of four wheels. So, and these are going to be available in roughly two weeks. And pricing has always been your guys' strong suit, it seems like. Uh, you guys definitely bring a lot of options to the table and uh, a 
affordability for a, a full set of aluminum wheels or aluminum axles has been uh, competitive for a lot of the, you know, right. compared to the market. So that's, uh, that is always something that they can they expect. Let's see, wrapped uh, in those wheels is some tires that I guess have been around a little mm -hmm. bit. Yes. I, yes. I can honestly say that, you know what, I, I, could, I had missed them. And I was just, when I was looking at this stuff earlier, uh, these uh, Gladiator tires kind of are what stuck out at me. Those are, those are a good looking tire. Yes. Uh, kind of an all-terrain style, more than an extreme mud terrain uh, or something along those lines. But just a, a nice tire and the, is this the X? S or X2? X2 uh, SS. X2 super SS. Super soft uh, and super sticky is what we call them. Oh, okay. Um, and, and you know, they uh, got a really good thin carcass on them, so uh, they've got the ability with, uh, you know, some options, some guys, you know, fiddle around with the phones and things like that. You can really get them set up to really perform well for you, so. Yeah, that's a, that's a good looking tire. It's something I, you know, just grabbing it off the first time, I kind of just, Something I, I was surprised I overlooked, and yeah. um, you know, I we see so many tires now. You guys have, I don't know how many one nine tires options do you guys have? Do you even know no, anymore? You know, <laughs> we, uh, we got part numbers going up to T one hundred and something. So you know, it's uh, there's over a hundred different tire options that we've got available. Right. Um, and then we also offer the singles as well, which is through a different part number series, but. Yeah, we've got uh, probably about 120, 130 different tire options at this point. Ranging from 155 to yeah. fifth scale. Well, actually, yeah. even the even the smaller, the low, key, low C uh, micro crawler tires that we oh, actually you know what? That's we did right. those for a while and then did some licensed versions too. So we've got those teeny tiny small ones all the way up to the, the big demolisher tires, demolisher. which are... Uh, probably about as tall as this thing is right here, which uh, we were talking about them fitting on a golf cart earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're huge. They're, uh, I think, just over nine inches tall and uh, probably Oof. close to seven inches wide. Oh, what, what, what's, what are those geared for? Um, we built them for our killer crawler platform, oh, which okay. um, a lot of customers used as robotic platforms. So they were putting you know, uh, GoPro and some batteries and, and things like that on them. So they were putting a lot of weight on them, but they wanted them to be able to get over, you know, different obstacles. So. Something that is not here, but you just bringing up this topic. Uh, I had seen in an email just the other day, that a kind of a tubeless look, the military style tire. Armageddon. The Ar Armageddon? Oh, yes, yes. Now, yes. That, that's an interesting looking tire. Yeah. Uh, what, where did that come from? Uh, you know, the uh, um, the owner of the company is very interested in kind of the robotic stuff. And, uh, you know, it was one of those things that he said, you know what, let's give this a try. Let's see how it works out. And, uh, you know, we worked over a long period of time to try to get it um, proper uh, because we wanted the honeycomb to be able to flex properly um, without breaking. And uh, so we ran into some issues, you know, with prototyping, but we finally got it to where we were happy with it. So we released that. And that's just going to be for those guys that, you know, want something completely different or got a robotics platform and, you know, don't want, you know, air tires and, uh, you know, just have fun with it. Something for everybody. That's exactly is. right. That's exactly right. <laughs> battle bots. Let's do battle yeah. bots. Oh, wish they bring that back. <laughs> yeah, God, I want that back so badly. <laughs> um, you know, more wheels and tires sitting here. It's, it's, I never get sick of seeing new wheels and tires. So, uh, <laughs> Brand new set of Raceline Monster style wheels. Yes. Um, I see these are a, they've got kind of a deep etch Raceline in them. Yes. Um, so a licensed copy um, and they look great. You know, the Monster is such a popular wheel in the full size world. Raceline right. is so involved in like the racers programs for the Ultra 4 series. So, so many of those guys have them on their trucks. So we see them in so many of the trucks that we see online and then want to replicate. Right. Um, so the seeing race lines that are done well and have the, the scale hardware, does the scale hardware come with these wheels? Yes, yeah, the, the wheels, uh, the guys at race line are, are phenomenal fellows, but we had the original wheel out, it did not have the race line logo, and uh, so we said, okay, we gotta take a step back, let's put this race line logo on, let's make it look as realistic as we possibly can, so that way we can replicate a monster wheel perfectly. And uh, so everything comes, uh, assembled already in the box. It's already got all the hardware and everything included. 
a lot of people will look at this wheel and go, mm, man, that's a lot of screws that I'm going to have to mess with. But the, uh, the front beadlock ring is actually, uh, all the hardware is already installed. And this is uh, a four-piece wheel, but only three pieces of it actually have to come apart. So the six uh, screws on the back side of the wheel are, are going to be taken off that ring. And once again, internal beadlock ring is going to go inside the tire. It's going to slide that front in, put the back on, and you're all ready to go. So um, most people, like I said, are, are going to get a little scared of all those screws on the front, but you don't have to worry about messing with them. That's, uh, that's good to know. That, that is <laughs> nice to know. You know yeah. Dealing with uh, all those little screws, there have been wheels in the past that, you know, they had 24 screws in the front side, <laughs> and then they also had the 24 on the back, right. and you were so sick of it by the time you got done, and yep. you're, lock, you're running through a tube of Loctite every set of wheels, <laughs> and it was, uh, I, so the ease that, you, you know, people are paying attention to, and Narcy Full Drive is done with this, six screws is... I can handle six years. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly I, right. I, I can accept that as a... Yeah, everything that we, we, we look at, we, we try to look at from the perspective of the builder, uh, you know, even down to pricing, as you mentioned earlier. We look at it from the perspective of if we're going to purchase it, we're going to buy that product, how much time and effort and work are we going to put into it? How much time and effort and work are our customers going to put into it? And we're really looking at that um, to make sure that we're, we're, we're keeping the customer in focus. And... You know that it's it's nice to see that you know the the old set of these was was very reasonable for uh, for a full set of four wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, it is nice that they were sold as a set of four. Right. You know that's it's, that's nice to see. You know it's just it's pretty simple, straightforward. People yep. know they were set of wheels like four wheels. Yep, yeah. that's exactly right. I can appreciate that. And, uh, it is you know this set here. Just wanted to show that you know you have the, the options for the different colors and contrast. And the other one we're missing is a silver with a black ring. Yep, and that's that's the one that customers are, are already familiar with. Uh -huh. They're already they already know that's out there. This this full black one is actually already on the website available. Um, these other two options will be available soon as well. So. Nice. So great looking set of wheels, and again, probably I'm sure it'd be a popular choice for a lot of us that are really yes. looking to replicate. Yeah, and the good part about it, whenever we're releasing most of the wheels, the ones that we feel that are going to be uh, popular wheel or, or tire options, we're automatically releasing a single option for it as well because we know that most people want a set four and then they want that extra spare to be able to bolt on the back of their truck. So it looks good, looks realistic. So those options are going to be available for singles on these wheels too. Being able to buy that spare as well as a spare tire is... Uh... Is, is something that it's nice to, to know that it, it's tuned into the market. And guys want that, you know, and it may not be the majority, so you don't need to sell a set of five wheels. Right. But four plus one is uh, is just a nice little nice little touch, and it, it is good to see that. All right, I've avoided this thing for as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> we we can see what it is. What are we calling it? Um, you know, it's a, a V8 motor with our R4 transmission. This is, uh, houses a 540 electric motor. Uh, most people are familiar with our Fracture V8 motor that we've offered. It's been discontinued now. Um, so we wanted to come out with a more realistic option. Uh, one that had uh, removable, replaceable oil pan, uh, removable and replaceable uh, engine manifold, um, air cleaner, valve covers, things like that, that uh, would just make it, um, you know, as once again, as realistic as possible. So the R4 transmission um, bolts right onto it. This option can fit right into a Trailfinder 2. Uh, we've got a little upgrade kit to where you can purchase it, pop it in a Trailfinder 2, move your transfer case back just a little bit, and uh, be running in the trail in, in no time once you get it installed. I've had such a long, tarnished history with trying to get some sort of motor. decent V8 motor with the transmission yeah. that went into the truck. I've, I've lost several hundred dollars and, you know, it's just been... Yep. It's cried, been cried yourself to sleep at night. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't be happier to actually see something like this and it's light. You know, not, it's still aluminum. It's all course, aluminum and it's yes. got your steel gears inside the transmission, but it's nothing like you may assume seeing it sitting here on the table. It's um, you know, I, I, I don't know if you know the weight off the top of your hand or top of your head, but it's it's much less than I expected. And, yeah, um, you know, from from those that are familiar with the fracture that maybe held one or, or knew the weight of it, I mean, this one is 
comparably less weight oh, yeah, I mean. um, than, than that unit. And, and the reason why is because every single area inside this V8 motor has been machined out. So that way we can reduce the weight as much as possible um, and, and just make it to where, once again, realistic. So. Please tell me that orange is the only color this will come in. Uh, <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> you know, we, we really wanted that real true orange, but with anodizing, you can't do that. We couldn't powder coat it because of all the different little screw holes that are in this thing. Um, you, you probably can't see it, but the engine manifolds are there and the holes are actually there and they're already threaded. So guys that really want to, you know, do some tube work and, and make some of their own manifolds, make some scale exhaust, things like that. They're going to be able to do that right, right from the start with this. So, and and the uh, the transmission gears are actually our AX2 transmission gears, same material. They're machine gears. Going to last. They're going to hold. Yeah, so they've been crazy. That AX2, the two speed that you offer, uh, basically a wraith sized transmission. Yes. The gears have been. I've never heard any issues with the gears right. of that. Uh, I know you guys had the HD output that stands up to you know the big pro 4 power you know rock 412s big batteries uh more of the side of the the hobby that i i really try and yeah, you know, <laughs> trying to get it you know i'm very familiar with that so that yeah. you know knowing that this will stand up in in a truck that if you're putting a, a scale motor like this uh, i you know like you said it'll fit a 540 will it fit a brushless motor in there it will fit some brushless motors there are mm -hmm. some brushless motors that are about the same size as the 540 mm -hmm. Uh, but then obviously there are some brushless motors right. that are a lot bigger. So um, it, it's going to be kind of um, piece by piece. So a customer's going to have to get the motor, try it out, and see if it's going to fit. Right. That's uh, with going to this level, that, that has to be understood that there's right. going to be those levels of, of detail and intricacy yes. that you're going to have to assume that a customer can there's, understand. There's so many options out there for motors that uh, if we try to bring in all those motors and try to test fit them, you know, we, we'd be spending a couple weeks yeah. doing that with all the different motor options and probably still not cover them and still get an email going, hey, will this fit, you know? Um, yes or no, it won't, or, you know, give it a try and see what it does. And if it does fit, let us know and we'll update our website so we can let other people know as well. Yeah, that's, uh, it's just, it's a beautiful piece. I'm, I'm excited to see it and, uh, you know, I, I had heard a rumor that something could be coming. Yeah, our engineering staff did a fantastic job um, from, from that to, to machining, to assembly, to uh, you know, packaging. Um, you know, our, our team you know, uh, stands up and, and does everything that we ask them to do and more. So, you know, the, uh, and, and just like, you know, anything else, I'm sure, with, you know, with the level of popularity could come even more things as far as uh, accessories for the, you know, for the front of this or who knows what else uh, as far as other manifolds that could come with it or I'm sure uh, a, a whole list of things that we could go on and on and on and I'd happily go on and on and on about but I'll, I'll refrain for now. <laughs> well, you know, it all comes with popularity. Um, you know, we made our first tire, you know, our Mudslinger tire yep. um, and look how many different tire options we've got. Well, it's because it's been popular. Customers have asked for it. Customers you know, whenever we released a 1.9 tire, they said, hey, you know what, that would look good in 2.2 if you make it in 2.2. We get enough of those emails, we say, okay, let's make it in 2.2. So once this takes off and we and we start seeing the interest, then by all means, you know, we're hoping to offer options for customers to be able to customize and accessorize um, and, and just make it look however they want it. That's, uh, it's ex so exciting to hear that kind of thing. And it, uh, I still get excited over new product, you know, I've, I spend so much time on this hobby that I, <laughs> but I still, I don't get bored seeing new stuff. And, and this is one of those ones that just, I'm sure I will not forget. And excited to uh, to have one one day here. Uh, we're, so. we're excited, we love, we love it so much. Uh, you know, it's hard for us to contain ourselves. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. one of those things where we get it done, we're like, okay, we need, we need to post this. Oh no, no, we need to step back and wait until we got product in stock so that right. way, you know, people can actually buy it. You know, yeah, so. that, that would be a, uh, you would have problems if I was in charge of these things. <laughs> so, yep. you know, sitting right uh, next to that, we've got a new set of axles from you guys, which is 
I, I guess kind of going along the same lines as some of these wheels we've been talking about with modular and customizable. Yes. Um, these are, what do we call them, D44? D44 D44. D44. Yes, that's correct. Um, a modular style axle. Uh, we've seen this type of thing, but this is different than what than what we have seen. Um, the thing that I saw when, it, when these, for, you know, I, on your email list, just like, a, a, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people, but the, uh, the tube diameter of the axle itself is something that just stands out a lot with these right and the fact that when that email came out the availability of widths all the way from this scx10 to a rate to a rate to a center rear rate uh, well the, the customer can actually take you know two pieces of the rear uh -huh. and swap it around to where they can have a, you know a center rear rate or even a, a wider width if they want to right um you know, so tons of different options there. Uh, using the proven and widely available, most all of us have several sets, or you know, the truck that's swapping into axial differential gears, correct, uh, and axial lockers. Yes, that's so, correct. Any of those options that we have, or any truck that hasn't, yep, throw right in there. Everybody's you know got uh, you know probably uh, you know plenty of that stuff laying around. You know, if you've been building or anything like that, or if you've got an SCX10 or a Wraith. You've already got those axles. Um, all you have to do is buy all the parts and pieces. Um, you won't have to purchase the bearings if you've already got axles. Swap it out and, and bolt it in. So um, the modular design allows for some different options. We knew that there were other companies out there that made axles. You know, yep. we've got we're all uh, familiar with the, our with the market. Our fair share of competition, right? And, and it's it's fantastic. It's great for the consumer. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we did something completely different. So that's why we made sure that the tubes were a lot smaller. Um, we wanted to make sure that we used the, uh, the axial ring and pinion because they've got some gear options that are available. The customers really um, you know, kept telling us, you know, we need axles that have those options. And we weren't able at, at a point that we could bring options to the table. So we said, let's do this. Um, that way customers at least have an axle that they can start with. Um, the front axle is is as impressive as the rear, uh, the, the again, the small diameter tubes. Also using a, a very scale design with the, the knuckles and C, something that you guys had done on the, what was the, the 44 actually you had before, what was that one referred to? The K44? K44, That's great right. looking. Yes. Uh, and I think that was the first one I saw with the, uh, the realistic style knuckle and C where they were uh, installed there a little bit differently than what we see on the normal. AX10 style axle or something like that. Uh, the, you know, those little details like that. And then uh, the you know, reed racing style orange knuckle, yep. um, you know, for, for those that are involved in the one-to-one -one market or are familiar with it at least. Um, you know, just a, a great looking part there. This one has uh, your guys' axle shafts in that? That's correct. They, now, what's the options there? We have our own axle shafts that go in the front and rear these. Um, due to the tube diameter, we've, we've had to make some changes, so we've got our own internals that go in there. Like I said, the only thing that you're going to need are bearings, uh, which you can purchase right through our website or through our, our dealers, um, and then the, the axle and the locker. So um, once you have those parts, you're ready to go. The, the only difference to this is it's not a chassis, or it's not an axle mounted servo option. So it only has the option currently for chassis mounted service. So these axles already come with the pan hard bar already built into it. So we do have both of our CMS kits, both for the SCX10 and the Axle Wraith. So customer purchase those, you get that servo up off the axle. Once again, just makes it look more realistic, more scale. Right, and uh, you know that's an understandable uh, upgrade for this level of uh, axle. You know, being that it is. Its whole purpose is to bring that scale factor up, you know, Excellent. quite a bit. So, uh, three length pan hard, pretty popular with you know guys even running a stock axle out of an AX10 or SCX10 that that isn't necessarily the most scale looking thing that we uh, we we've, we've seen in the past. But um, you know, speaking of your your dealers and things like that, how many what kind of dealer network are you guys up to now? It's you can you, you know the numbers. Um, we don't have direct numbers um, due due to um, you know just being international and having all those dealers and, and we get dealer requests all the time. We're continuing to add dealers regularly. 
Um, you know, it, it's dumbfounding how many dealers out there that have our product compared to you know, even five years ago. Um, you can see our product in more hobby stores than ever before, um, which is, is, is a great thing for the consumer. Once again, you're not having to ship everything. Uh, you can go to a hobby store, you can touch it and feel it. Um, and a lot of people like to touch and feel tires and things like that, you know, so it makes it really, really good for them. Right. The, you know, aftermarket support for OEM kits of your own now, I mean, the, the Trailfinder 2 had to be the, the first major success to that level. I mean, you guys had the Trailfinder before that. Yes. Um, the Trail Stomper, I believe, yeah. as well. Yes. Uh, you know, a couple of those. I had a, I had the original Trailfinder. Um, but the, the Trailfinder 2, the, what people hear, and what they think when they hear Trailfinder now, that had, I mean, had to be just a major success. And seeing aftermarket options for that level of truck now in even my local hobby shops that aren't, aren't very large, you know, it's, it, it's exciting. Just scales obviously coming, coming up, but that, that truck was no small feat. That was a... No, it, it was, uh, um, you know, you hear of engineering marvels, and that was kind of one of those engineering marvels. There was a lot of time uh, investment into that um, that, you know, we didn't expect as a company because we're relatively small, still relatively small. And, you know, we wanted to make sure that you know, even down to having a print box, you know, it wasn't something we were relatively used to. You know, RC four-wheel drive and, and it, many of, you know, our customers who have known us over the years, know that we weren't very instruction oriented <laughs> so we were rather lacking in instructions so you know we knew that we had to have an instruction in you know, in order to do that that's you know, time and investment and we put that time and investment in and we've, we've brought out a plethora of aftermarket accessories uh, for the Trailfinder 2 to allow the customer to be able to just once again it comes down to customize and accessorize you know, there's so many people that come up to us at shows or events and say, hey, I had one of those toilets. But mine had a camper top or, or whatever, you know, like, hey, right here's the camper top. <laughs> right, you know, right. I had a different bumper than that. Yeah, hey, yeah, here's, here's the bumper, bumper option. So, um, so it, it's really good, um, you know, for us and, and coming to these events and, and going to shows and things to see all the customers, you know, and, and you see that Trailfinder 2 and how they've, how they've, you know, just made it so different. They made it their own, which um, just kind of, uh, it's, it's overwhelming sometimes. And it's, and it's fantastic to see that. To, to see something that you had a, an idea for it, to start with and then yeah, have it morphed in, into... Have it in how many people's hands now yeah. and how many, yeah. how many man hours the people who own them have spent on them. And yeah. right, that's a, it's, it's something to be, you know, if you step back and really look at a big picture like that, it right. can, it's pretty overwhelming to, yes. to think of the, the reach of, of a product like that. Yeah. And, you know, of course, we all hope that we see more products, the kits especially. Hard body kits are so, you know, we don't see them. They're not, they're not available. It's, you know, you guys and then a, a twine high lifts that are, you know, it's a body on a semi-truck chassis with a transmission the size of a softball and it's a, <laughs> I hate putting it together. Hey, it's, whenever, it's, I, yeah. whenever I put the first one together, it was, it was cool. You yeah, know, you know, I had cool. one and I just, <clears throat> but it's not the same. Yeah. These, uh, these trucks now, the options that we have, you know, there's some sitting in the background here that I can sit and stare at and just, it's so cool to see how the hobbies come since, yeah. since we started and, you know, I, You've been on RC Crawler, where I'm most familiar with both of you guys from. You've been on there for I don't know how long. Uh, 2006, I think, yeah. is whenever I really got involved. Yeah, right, and I, and I don't know when you started with RC Four Wheel Drive specifically, because yeah. you had, you know, we had seen you around, and then also you had a, a big presence with them. And as RC Four Wheel Drive was growing, we saw you know your guys' presence grow, and the team grow, and, yeah. and John, you come along, and you know start needing people just to to help wrangle the people that you're trying to help and <laughs> yeah. help you it's yeah it's impressive to see the company grow from that little website that they had originally to yeah. you know i really wish you would fix your redirect yeah. i still go <laughs> yep no. but uh, it's, you know the store looks the level you guys have gone to with you know the box art just things like that you know the the level of detail that's it's just like one of the big boys, you know. It, yeah. It's it's right there with the rest of them. It's being supported. It's it's uh, it's exciting. So yeah. 
I look forward to, to everything else you guys are doing, and I look forward to those emails coming out with the new stuff. Yes, and there's going to be a lot of new stuff in the next couple of weeks, as you can see from the stuff that we've, we've highlighted here. Uh, but we've also got a lot of other things. So if you're not signed up for our newsletter, as you had mentioned right. earlier, that's a fantastic piece of information to be able to get that, that detail and, and all those, those pieces of information right there readily available in your email. Right. Uh, just on the website, I think there's a sign yep. up for it. Yep. Yep. So. Down in the, uh, the lower left-hand corner is a little spot where you can plug in your email address, you can add yourself, remove yourself. Um, and then, you know, every time we have new products, we're doing a release and getting that out there so that we know about them right away. It's a, it's, it's a nice way. And, and you guys are really on top of just getting those emails out. And, um, it's one of the ones I look forward to when it pops up my inbox. <laughs> and I'm click on that thing right away. So, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you're not, you won't be so excited now that we've yeah. shown this off here. Yeah. So everybody's going to go, okay, let's just <laughs> remove myself for a week from the newsletter. <laughs> So <laughs> lies. No, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm excited. I, I appreciate you guys sitting down with me, John. You spending a bunch of time with me today. Yep, yep. That's oh, all right. I'm glad you're here. I. Uh, that's what he gets paid to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again, guys, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing all the thing else you guys got coming soon. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much as well. We appreciate it. Thanks for thanks coming so out, man.